this video we'll be making salads and sandwiches for our dolls. We're going to be using the following crafting supplies. Construction paper, craft foam, markers, clear tape, cardboard, makeup, a popsicle stick, your hole puncher, toilet paper, water and glue, a ribbon, craft paint, and the hot glue gun. To make our salad bowls, we'll be using an empty coffee cream cup after we trim it down to a nice size. Next, we're going to cut out a leafy shape from green construction paper. Then we're going to ball it up tightly and open it, and it makes lettuce. From there, we're going to cut orange craft foam to create diced carrots. And we'll use our hole punch to create tomato slices from red craft foam. And we'll punch another hole with white craft foam and use a yellow marker to create an egg. And lastly, cut up cardboard to create croutons. Once your salad is complete, you can cover it with clear tape if you choose. Now, that's a garden salad. We're also going to create a Caesar salad. We're going to use a green marker to darken the construction paper so it can look like romaine lettuce. Then we're going to add our cardboard croutons and cut small pieces from a popsicle stick. It kind of looks like grilled chicken strips. Lastly, we'll be using a little yellowish gold eyeshadow to represent grated Parmesan cheese for our Caesar salad. Now it's time to make sandwiches. Using our glue gun, we're going to create two oval shapes on beige colored construction paper. Next, we're going to brush makeup across the ovals and cut them out carefully. From there, we'll use a little hot glue to attach two pieces so that it kind of looks like an open clamshell. And we'll glue in our lettuce and tomatoes. Please refer to our previous video, How to Make a Deli Tray. You'll see how to create deli meats using ribbon and craft paint. We'll cut the ribbon up the middle and then glue it into our sandwich. Lastly, we'll create cheese slices with yellowish craft foam and our sandwich is complete. We can also make a mixture of toilet paper, water and glue with a tiny drop of pink paint to make a tuna sandwich. Or we can add a little brown paint to create a meatball sub. Of course, you have the option of wrapping it up in clear tape, but this doll is ready to enjoy his meatball sub right away. <laughs> Some of these photos are making me a little hungry. Before we go, we're going to create a little napkin dispenser because nobody likes a sloppy eater. First, we're gonna cut, stack, and glue three pieces of cardboard. Then we're gonna fold a pleat into a napkin, a piece of tissue, or paper towel. Next, we're gonna trim it so that it fits over the ends of the cardboard. And from there, we'll just apply silver tape across the top and the bottom. We're gonna cut the tapes at the corners and carefully fold. Then you repeat it on the other two sides. And your napkin dispenser is complete. And I want to thank you so much for watching. i love for you to try this and let me know how it turns out. I appreciate you guys so much for your support, your encouragement, and your comments. And that's why I want to send a warm welcome to Sylvia. She always leaves great comments and I just appreciate her so much.
I want you guys to leave comments too. And when you're done, please go to Facebook and like our page, Red Carpet Dials by Tony Nicole. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.